all my crafting friends. I'm coming today with a quick video and a share. You're looking at my SPN Company binder system binders that I bought with the April release. So I just want to quickly um, share them with you. I was able to fit all of my SP stamps that I own except for the longer border and background stamps. And then there was a stamp set called Love that has you know a long border in it also so they didn't fit but I used my recycled my packaging for my SP and company and just cut strips to fit on the outer edge there of the binder and I used my label maker to say what the stamp sets were this one says gift tags pocket set and Mother's Day and then I used a Word document and I used it, made a text box that was five by six because I measured it and figured that would just be easy to slip right in the front. And then I used my snipping tool on my computer and I went to the SP and Company store and I just snipped the image of each one of the stamps and put it in my Word document, printed it out on cardstock and stuck it on the front. So I can quickly look at the front of each one of these binders once I figure out you know what I'm looking for if I'm looking for birthday sympathy you know uh, the happiness set swirly set if I know what I'm looking for then I just pick up that box and then I'll show you the inside so each page protector I took and I used my label maker and I put the name of the set and some of the newer sets um, the actual acetate is um, like printed on. It's got black printing so you can see it real clearly. But the older sets didn't. So what I did just to be able to find and figure out what the stamps are, sometimes it's harder to see when they're not, you know, black printed on the acetate, is I just cut out the packaging. So like the zipper set. So I can look at it and quickly see, oh here's a little happy birthday stamp. That's exactly what I need. And then I can take out the set and use it. And this one I have SVG cuts so I just put some of the extra ones because then I can take these out and stamp them and use them. And then here's the stamp set. Like I say, I use that. And then the new stamp set, like this Best Mom Ever from Gil Roberts that she just came out with. Um, it actually, when you buy the set, it comes with the page protector. So then all I had to do was put Best Mom Ever and I just put um, GR for Gil Roberts. So I know it's one of her creations. So when I use it, I can, you know, give credit to the artist who, um, what a fabulous um, designer. And that was wonderful because, you know, it saved me a lot of time. I just had to print the label out and pop it in my binder and um, it was ready to go. So um, these are going to come in really handy. I'm... I'm thinking that um, I, I have a white one also, and that's going to be the um, binder that I use to store the stamp set with matching dies in and then the dies alone. I'm trying to decide. I have a huge, big three ring binder that I store all my spill binders in right now. And I'm thinking, trying to decide if I want to convert over to these smaller binders, but they don't hold. Um, as much probably so I may convert um, a bunch of my other stamping companies over to this binder system because I think I can store a lot more stamps um, in smaller space um, but I'm gonna have to get like a couple more of the white binders because those are going to be the ones that I put my dies in matching stamp sets in and um, I tried to get you know all the dies and stamp sets of the that match because it makes it so much easier for um, cutting out because you can you know stamp it and then line your die up and cut it out versus having to fussy cut it so um, when I get more of these binders and get my other stamp sets from other companies um, you know I plan to do the same kind of labeling and um, inside I'll try and find the image on the internet of the other stamp companies also and do the same thing because then you can take a you know a quick look and um, I will show you what these all look like in my craft room on the shelves so thank you ladies for watching and maybe this is a system that you would find useful and helpful and if so Go over to spandcompany.com and check them out. Each binder, they're very reasonable at priced. Um, 
the page protectors, the the magnetic sheets and the dies are like three dollars a piece. So you know it's pretty inexpensive storage and you can fit lots of stamps in a pretty small amount of space because right now I have my stamps in um, like bins from um, Big Lots and I think they were a dollar, two dollars, something like that. Well, um, six of these will fit in one of those bins. But the problem is my bins I can only stack too high and I think these are shorter so I might actually even be able to stack them three high. So I'll be able to put more stamps in the same amount of space. So thank you ladies for watching and have a nice day.